Hello, welcome back to part three in our digital design tool studio or to design designer tutorials. Excuse me. A um, couple of things that just I want to show you some of the other tools you have access to. Um, you have multiple selection tools. So if you want to select pieces, let's say um, I already showed you the multiple selection tool, the connected selection tool. Again, you can kind of highlight over and kind of get things here and that should connect things for you um, sometimes it's a little tricky to use um, there we go double click on it and there it lets you get you know, the one tool one piece at once you have the color selection tool so you can say I want to select all the pieces of the same color um, that can be helpful or annoying at times shape selection I want to get all of these shapes and select them so that's another way um, invert selection or color and shape selection tool. I'm not going to get into that one um, let's go back to the normal selection tool clone tool I've covered before hinge tool this is helpful for kind of making sure that um, things will work or rotate the way you want them to you can see how they will rotate um, rotate things around um, uh, the hinge align tool can help you align things make sure they're put together if you've got a flexible piece that's what the flex tool does um, if you want to color things a different say choose a different color this works more with the bricks than it does um, anything else so you can go say hey no I want that color so it's a way to change colors you can hide pieces and say I want that piece hidden make it a little bit easier to kind of see around things um, you can unhide over there this is the delete tool um, so you can click on it and go around and easily delete pieces that you don't need okay a uh, couple other things I do want to show you is let's say you want to go to other pieces and right now we're in the Mindstorms pieces well if I go to view and new themes and slide over here to Lego Digital Designer there it'll take me to the digital designer pieces um, that I have out and these are more these are you know there's your flat pieces your flat tiles and stuff and your rounded pieces so these would be more of the regular Lego pieces so um, and again to switch back I just go back to view new themes and um, go back into Mindstorms and then that's all the Mindstorms pieces um, again save will allow me to save things fairly easily uh, toolbox is all of the tools you have here and the nice thing is you got your keyboard shortcuts that you can use as well um, edit undo copy paste select all those kind of things another thing that is very helpful or a place I would go to get help is the help menu and go to the help it'll take you to a file that's already downloaded on their digital designer tool the nice thing is this is all hot linked so if you wanna say well what are the three modes well then you can go in here and go straight to that page and say oh there's the modes and it gives you some a bit more detail on the tools and stuff like that scroll back up to the top um, I love that these are hyperlinked so you know one thing preferences so I'm you know, not sure what preferences do so here you can do some preferences um, and you know, just kind of see what the preferences do again I don't go much into that but um, something that is helpful so I find that that I'm just gonna pop out of that you know I'll close all so again that was the help menu so again this has been the last in the digital designer parts or tutorial series good luck and happy building